I have officially declared the sandbox game to be dead. And when I say dead, I mean dead as a doornail. I'm going to show you exactly why I think this, that this game is completely dead now and why maybe it could actually come back to life to haunt you. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about the sandbox. This is a game that you guys know I've been really hyped about. I've been an ambassador for the sandbox for a very long time since their second pre-sale, which they have done so many more since then. Uh, I own multiple lands and I've had the team on. We've talked about the sandbox. We're creating the assets in the sandbox. And I actually have even started working on my own secret agent stash game for the sandbox. But today, I regret to tell you guys that I think the sandbox is completely dead. That's right. I, I, I know it's almost hard to believe, but we're going to jump into all the details of why the sandbox has gone dead and why it may not be exactly what you think uh, here in a second. But before we get started, if you're not already subscribing to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell for your notifications and smash on that like button. And if you're not already a community of my part of my community of stashers, then I would love for you to to join the community and you can uh, sign up in the Telegram link there below. OK, so. When I say that the sandbox is dead, I don't necessarily mean that it's not coming back and no one wants to play it or it's not, it's gonna be a product that I'm not invested in anymore. I know maybe it's a little tricky there, but what it comes down to is there was a big announcement today that the sandbox is partnering with The Walking Dead. That's right, one of my most favorite comic books and an amazing TV show that I watched all the seasons for uh, and something that I've been a huge fan of, uh, The Walking Dead. They have now partnered with The Sandbox and they're going to be creating their own in-game experience inside of The Sandbox. That's how dead the sandbox is. That's how dead that this game is going to be. So when it comes to partnerships and IP brands that they have brought on board, the sandbox actually does a really great job of finding some amazing IPs to work with. Uh, and we've seen some of those here in the past. Uh, they work with musicians, with a larger brands like Atari, which we know uh, they're all going to be building these cool, unique experiences within inside of their lands. And the, the list of IPs goes on and on. Smurfs, Care Bears, uh, you know, Avenged Sevenfold, and tons of your favorite, uh, you know, crypto-based companies as well. So we're going to see a ton of those things being built out here. But I think out of all of these, The Walking Dead is one of the coolest announcements that we've seen. So let's go take a look at that announcement and everything that it entails so I can break it all down for you. All right, so here we are at the special branded page here on the Sandbox's uh, website. This is, uh, you know, this is a page that this, you know, dedicates and, and kind of tells you everything that's going on here. And so I want to break this down because it's more than just uh, a game itself. So they're going to be creating a, a new in-game experience inside the Sandbox, uh, which is going to, uh, you know, be in the style of of, of uh, Kirkman's The Walking Dead, right? And so you can see here we we have zombies. We have what is probably looking like it looks kind of like maybe it's Michonne there with her with their katana right so pretty awesome and uh you know i want to actually uh, post up this video real quick so they made a really cool teaser video that kind of shows a little bit of these elements that you're going to see here a little bit more beyond what what the, they see here on the rest of this the uh the website let's take a look how oh, you see the walkers eating people's faces ah This is so hype. Look at that. There's the RV and everything. You see Rick on the horse. What? Boom. How awesome is that? So as you guys can see, this is going to be a whole cool experience you can play inside the sandbox. And not only is it going to be an experience you can play inside the sandbox, but it is going to be a whole, it's going to be like a whole set of, of uh, creational items that you can use inside of the game maker. So the game maker is another part of the sandbox, which allows you to make your own games. So if you own land within the sandbox, you can make your own game and put it on that land and it can be an experience. It can be something that you, you end up charging some sort of fee to be able to play, or it can just be some sort of like social hub where people are gathering, hanging out. Maybe they're just talking, chatting, or maybe you do like little mini events or things like that. But the sky is kind of the limit 
when it comes down to um, you know when it comes down to, to to some of these things, right? So you can kind of pretty much build whatever you want. And if you guys have been following uh, kind of my journey here with the sandbox and watch all the rest of my sandbox videos, I've talked to Sebastian about this as well as worked with uh, Alex, aka Kamaswazi, uh, on doing some assets for my own secret agent stash game. Uh, we actually, it was really fun. Actually, I jumped on a live stream with them and we were doing the assets for like the trench coat and the hat and putting them all together right there live while you guys watch. And I was on the stream, we were talking about it and kind of the cool features and, and uh, you know, it's a really great uh, Twitch stream that they do uh, every weekend. And you really get to dive into, you know, using the game maker and the creator and creating assets because the sandbox gives you a lot of opportunity as a, a, a creator. So not only can you be a landowner where you'll be able to buy and sell land and speculate on it, which a lot of people do and the land has increased significantly in value but you can also be a creator in the way of making assets for the game even if you don't want to make your own game you can just create assets for other people to use which could then be sold in the marketplace and you can profit that way and then, you know, it, it, you also, like I said, if you want to be an actual game maker, you can make your own games and you can even package those games all together with all the assets maybe you created or assets you've used and sell the entire game on the marketplace too. Now, that's not a feature that is available right now, but that is a feature that is on the roadmap. And once the game is launched into its kind of preseason or, or, or you know, beta playable state, uh, they're going to be having some more of those features unlocked here. Uh, for creators right now the marketplace is a little bit limited to the the you know verified creators or people who are already in the game maker fund or creator fund but we know that they're going to be opening that here uh, probably towards the end of the year so everybody can be able to take opportunity to create voxel assets to sell them in the store or to be able to create games and monetize them uh, you know, because that, that is my plan. I, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily monetize, but I'm definitely going to be creating my own game and having a bunch of signature secret agent stash, uh, you know, assets, which include things like, you know, disguises, things like that that make you know sense for the theme. And that's the same thing The Walking Dead is doing here as well. So you can see they're going to have uh, 20 plus unique in-game assets from The Walking Dead, including walkers, survivors, and a lot of other cool things. So you can see there's all these decorative elements. So you can see like, uh, you know, they, they have the, uh, the don't open sign here on the wood which is pretty cool and some of the cool like looking doors with uh you know the grungy stuff uh you know walkers that are these zombies coming out and hopefully they'll be able to like crawl and move around but you can see like they're half bodies uh bloody broken things cars you know so it looks like they're gonna have a pretty good variety of different assets that you can actually use uh to create something on your own land or or just inside of your own game you know it doesn't have to be uh it doesn't have to necessarily be walking dead themed uh, but um you know they do say that they're going to have some of the main characters from the from the uh the comic book series like michonne and uh, i think that'll be pretty cool you know i want to see i want i want a rick i definitely want to have a rick grimes and uh and, and maybe you know uh so uh, maybe a carl but i want like late stage carl i don't want like b baby kid carl i need carl when once he's got the uh he's got the sheriff hat now uh in that season you know if you guys follow the tv show obviously if you guys follow the walking dead the comic books and the tv show were not exactly the same uh, the TV show was definitely kind of a, a, a you know deviated from some of the stuff that you see in the comic books pretty heavily, uh, but maybe we'll see a maybe we'll see a variant of of uh, of you know the sheriff with um you know with Rick Grimes uh, but with with no hand right like he's in the comic books where he's he had to chop his own hand off. Um, but this is, I think this is a pretty big thing. And so, like I said, you know, they, they, uh, the Sandbox has brought in a bunch of IPs, as you can see here, a bunch of different ones. But I honestly think that the Sandbox is one of the biggest, one. Uh, th th this, this is one of the biggest IPs the Sandbox has ever brought in. And for you Walking Dead fans, this has got to be a slam dunk. So when they come out with these assets, I am definitely going to be buying and there'll definitely be a land sale around this land because it is not in one of the already established land sale districts. It's sitting right in the middle of the map. And there's a bunch of black area around it. So it's definitely going to be an upcoming sale for lands around the, the, the Walking Dead. And while I've held off for the past couple months because of Ethereum fees and some of the things, I'm glad to see Sandbox coming to Matic, which will make it so much easier for me to want to buy land in this game. So this this right here just boosts it up even more. So when I say the, the, the Sandbox is dead, it is the Walking Dead. That's how dead it is. Uh, zombie status. But I am definitely going to be buying NFT lands around the Walking Dead when they launch. And so hopefully you guys like this quick breakdown of this brand new partnership announcement. Uh, let me know if you're going to be buying lands. If you love The Walking Dead, I want to know if you love The Walking Dead as much as I do. Make sure you put it in the comments below. 
That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.